What's up, family? How you guys doing? You see, I got the Cubbies on. World Series champions. Guys, it's been 108 years. God bless America. God bless the Cubs. I can't believe it. Chi-Town is going insane right now. And it's needed. So sometimes when there's a certain temperament or environment in the streets, you know what I'm saying? There's wars on the rise or there's a lot of battles that are happening around. God will send a victory through a different means. So unlike more police to solve some of the violence issues, um, unlike somebody coming up with a master financial plan to save the economy, over here where we're dealing with you know, Chicago violence, whether it's gang violence, gun violence, um, just too many people in the streets, not enough money to, to feed families, then we see a victory over here of overcoming years and years of a game. That means more than just a game. It means a whole world of spirit and energy to a community that needs it. So right now, everybody's enjoying life. Everybody's loving on each other. Everybody's showing that love through expression, through this victory. So you never know how God will answer that problem that the community that the country needs. It could come from something that we don't plan on. It can come from something that is unexpected. So this victory means a lot for the city. It means a lot for the nation. So even if you guys are from Texas, even if you guys are from New York, please celebrate with us as we uh, celebrate this victory of overcoming over 108 years of defeat. Okay? and not making it to the show. So, But big ups to everybody else who participated this year. The Indians, uh, big up to Ohio and, and Cleveland and what they're doing. Um, maybe next year will be your year. But it's Dave Wilkins, it's God Steps, one verse at a time, one step at a time. We're really jumping into the Bible and seeing what we can do to apply uh, some knowledge, wisdom, uh, and his guidance each and every day. So today we're in Psalms 95. So let's get our head right, because you know the Psalms are all about praise and worship uh, by your, your own King David in the Bible. So Psalms 95. Come let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him in, with thanksgiving and exalt him with music and song. Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. So even if you don't necessarily feel like, oh, this is perfect time for praise and worship, sing to him anyway. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for everything you provided me with. Thank you for the blessings, but even the struggle. Sing, uh, sing joy to the Lord. Let us shout out aloud to the rock of our salvation. He saved me from pain, struggle, from distress, from insecurity, from my enemies. Thank you for being my savior. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being my savior. For being there in times of need, but also times when you just are there to bless me. Thank you for being my salvation. Come, let us come before him with thanksgiving. Guys, go right around the corner from thanksgiving. Let it be meaningful, not just another meal. Think about the people that you may be eating with, or maybe it's just you and your dog. So what? You made it to another meal of thanksgiving. And I'm sorry, you and your dog and God. You and your family and God. You and your loved one and God. God's gonna be at the table with you. Show reverence and appreciation for the food that you're able to eat, for the, the sight that you're able to see, the, the ears that you're able to hear, for the taste buds to even enjoy a meal, for the body that allows you to ingest certain foods and for it to function right, okay? Thanks for just another day of breathing. So let's show appreciation and exalt him with music and song. Now this is where it gets fun, y'all. There's a lot of people who think Christians are boring and lame. Y'all, go Cubs, go Cubs. So exalt him with music and song and get out there and dance. That's why sometimes I've had, I have difficulty with these stringent Christians who are, I don't dance, I don't know how to have fun. I don't, no, I don't do that, I don't do that. I do, and I'm gonna do it for the Lord, baby. Uh oh, dap, dap on him, dap on him. Where you at? Do it for the Lord. Music and song, y'all, nothing wrong with it. So make sure that we 
show appreciation. He's the, the rock of our salvation. Let him know that. Guys, don't go through this life not showing people love and telling them that you love them. Because they might go to the grave, they might move on not knowing how you feel. Lord Jesus, if you do not know, I love you more than anything in my life, anything that I know. Thank you for creating me. Thank you for creating my family, my daughter, this situation that I'm in. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for holding tight with me. Thank you for keeping on with me, Lord, because I know I've failed you pretty much every day of this walk. But I appreciate you and everything you're doing for me. So, y'all, show that appreciation. God is love. He loves you. He loves the Cubs, and he loves me. So let's just love each other. But y'all party for the Cubs because the city needed it, and now we got it. We got that victory, baby. Go Cubbies, go Cubbies, go. Go Cubbies, go Cubbies, go. Yeah. It's your boy Dave Wilkins. Peace.